Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flater Mouse. Today we're going to look at an urban myth dating all the way back to World War I where trench shotguns were used to shoot down incoming German potato masher grenades. And we're going to have a lot of help from May and Athias from CN Arsenal. You see, there's a rumor that these guns were used to stop incoming grenades. Now this is a reproduction that we managed to pick up that is still made out of similar material well enough to test the theory. The challenge here though, because I know a lot of you are thinking, well yeah, I could pop that right out of the air. But the challenge is, do we have the ability to either displace it in the air or destroy that pressurized chamber so that whenever she cooks off there's no containment? And can we even hit it when we're working with double aunt buckshot, not target or birdshot, that's a little bit harder to pull something out of the air. And it took a little bit more of an arrangement down the range. First, we'll show you what double aunt buckshot looks like shooting at 25 yards. At 25 yards, Greg had no problem hitting this static human sized target but his point of aim was the center of the chest and none of the pellets actually hit that area. If Greg was trying to purposely hit a small object like this stick grenade that's not even moving, you can see how difficult the job becomes. And it just becomes even more difficult when that object is moving in three-dimensional space with only nine pellets. The pellets are large enough to do damage, but it just seems like a matter of luck if you could hit an object like that at all. So let's see if May can hit it. I think that was some pretty amazing shooting. You could be the best shot in the world, but because of the random patterning of double odd buckshot, it still comes down to just dumb luck if you could hit a small moving object like that at that distance. Because buckshot rarely impacts the point of aim, to me it seems like a crack shooter using a rifle or even a pistol would have a better chance of hitting an incoming grenade. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, but I also hope you'll check out CN Arsenal. It's the type of show that you used to be able to see on the History Channel back when they used to actually have history on the History Channel. It's definitely one of my favorite channels and I watch every episode. Thanks for watching.